Walmart. The first Walmart store opened in 1962 and has grown into the American megastore that seems to be an unavoidable retail force. Bigger than Europe's and the UK's biggest retailers combined, Walmart is the world's number one retailer with more than 8,000 stores, including about 900 discount stores and 3,000 combination discount and grocery stores. About 55% of Walmart's stores are in the US, but Walmart continues expanding internationally. It is the number one retailer in Canada and Mexico, and it has operations in Asia, Europe, and South America. Walmart is now a worldwide household name in mass merchandising. The world's biggest retailer is also the biggest employer, with over 2.1 million full and part-time workers worldwide. Walmart describes itself as a leader in sustainability, corporate philanthropy, and employment opportunity, and was ranked first among retailers in Fortune magazine's 2009 Most Admired Companies survey. Saving people money to help them live better was the goal that Sam Walton envisioned when he opened the doors to the first Walmart more than 40 years ago. Walmart sells everything from pharmaceuticals to guns, so no retail sector is safe from its competition. About 60% of sales are non-grocery items. They also sell petrol at a loss to attract people to other products, up to 10 cents per gallon cheaper than independent station owners. This is a classic example of the Walmart strategy to push out smaller, more traditional specialized businesses through high volume marketing. And Walmart.com is providing easy access to more Walmart with over 1 million products available online, the business continues to develop. Despite criticism of its environmental record, Walmart took steps in a positive green direction, which included becoming the biggest seller of organic milk and the biggest buyer of organic cotton in the world. As well as reducing packaging and energy costs, Walmart also spent nearly a year working with outside consultants to discover the company's total environmental impact and find where they could improve. They discovered that by eliminating excess packaging on their toy line, Kid Connection, alone, they could not only save $2.4 million a year in shipping costs, but also 3,800 trees and a million barrels of oil. After being criticized by several labor unions in 2009, Walmart announced that it was paying a combined $933.6 million in bonuses to full and part-time workers of the company. An additional $788.8 million in profit sharing, contributions, and hundreds of millions of dollars in merchandise discounts and contributions to the employees' stock purchase plans. And Walmart is looking after employees' health care, too. More than 94% of Walmart staff, or associates as they like to call them, have health insurance, either through the company or through other coverage. Walmart has made healthcare a priority, offering affordable coverage to both full-time and part-time associates. $4 prescription medicines and other programs have saved customers more than $2 billion since 2006. Walmart is undoubtedly a leader in retail operations, continually rethinking what its customers are looking for and finding innovative ways to bring it to them at the cheapest possible prices. Now, the world's largest company has become an unlikely leader in employee health care, hiring practices, and staff diversity, too.